Hello everyone, welcome back to Doom. Are you ready for the uh, spider thing? I'm... I'm not. I'm not. Yeah, no. I'm not. <clears throat> ah, God damn it. Ah. Uh -huh. Ah. Uh -huh. God. No. <laughs> Okay, you didn't like me doing that. Let's be oh 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 ow ow Come on. I'm referring to Whoa! It's health. No, eight. Oh no! Shit! Do we have no okay six five Oh 
Don't have a second phase. Please don't have a second phase. I don't even know what the fuck that was. Spider Mastermind. Oh, you prick. Oh, I want there to be a sequel so I can kill that guy. Ooh. Impressive.
This game truly did capture the magic that the first Doom brought. And... Lightning in a bottle? Twice? They did it! In my opinion, they did it. <laughs> the little doom guy. Oh. Samuel Hayden, Darren DePaul. Names familiar. Like the voice is it's just triggering. I can't quite place it. And I'm gonna let the uh, credits go because quite frankly, this game deserves that. Absolutely deserves it. Uh, I will apologize for the shorter video. I was able to defeat the uh, Brain Mastermind, I think was the official name, in one go. Almost had last video. Not that it isn't hard, it's... I think what it is... It's kind of like the Dark Souls. They say get good. If you stick with the game, you're naturally going to learn and adjust and figure things out and then be able to pass the points that you find hard. And it may take a bunch of times, but you'll get there. This is very much like that. You eventually get it. You eventually kind of get into the rhythm of that area and you're able to pull it off using the terrain and stuff to your advantage and not counting stupid mistakes because those just happen but yeah Doom 3 has its problems but it's not a terrible game this game you can see why so many put it people put it on their 2016 top game of the year or like in that list somewhere if they do numerical order you can see this is Jim Sterling I think put it best it's very unapologetic blood and gore very much the way that the first one was you know it's and that's what this is And the whole idea of adding those glory kills in? I know some people initially when the trailer came out, they were like, oh no, that's not good. Why you do? I was going for the glory kills when I didn't need to just because it was freaking awesome. Just saying. It was very good. 
absolutely wonderful. It's like doing a finishing move, you know? It works. And it fits with the Doom Guy lore. So, yeah, I, uh, I'm glad I was able to muddle through this and glad I was able to slowly adjust over time to the motion of it that it wasn't as intense initially for the motion sickness. Just yes. Absolutely. It just elevated my enjoyment that much more. It really didn't detract too much. It's kind of like, well, I'm kind of disappointed. I have to stop now. I don't want to stop. But I feel sick, so I'm going to stop. <laughs> I was able to play some parts off camera. You know, I tried to do a mention there other uh, video of um, for an hour. An hour. When, like, the first video, 15 minutes or 20 minutes, I was like, I'm ready to throw up on my keyboard now. So, uh, yes. I'm even thinking of leaving this installed and playing it for fun. I usually don't do that. And usually, okay, I'm done with this game. I'll uninstall it, make room, put another game on. It's not the case. Oh my god! Mm. High praise. High, high praise. Absolutely. If somehow you haven't played this game and you kind of enjoy uh, first-person shooter stuff, or you've played the original Doom, and you uh, like it, then pick this up when it's on sale. It's old enough now. Just pick it up when it's on sale. No rush. It's well worth the money. I'm pretty sure I picked it up when it was on sale, like 50% off or something. So, yeah. And, uh, just to reiterate, um, I said this in the beginning, now at the end, I did play this blind. I did not play this game. Uh, I just played some stuff to test it, to see where things were and that kind of thing. And then I went in and the rest of the game, blind. And the story, the story was freaking awesome. Seriously. It's like, a game like this often really it's like a non-existent story or something like that. You can really dig deep with the story. You can infer so many things. You can, uh, Doom guy? Human? Not human? From the original Doom, but entombed? Ah, uh, oh, there's so many jumping off wonderful things. Oh, God. The, it software? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much for being brave enough to tackle Doom again after Doom 3. Uh, greatly appreciated. Uh, you guys hit this one out of the park, as they say. I'm not big on sports. I know tennis better than any other sport. It's like, okay, you got an ace. If you know tennis, you know what I'm talking about. Beautiful. Right down the center. The hardest one to get, by the way. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh. I've already expressed my one frustration and disappointment with this game, and that has to do not so much with the single player, but rather the choice to make always online connection. That's it. That doesn't belong. Online connection when you're doing multiplayer? Yes, sure. Um, not necessary when you're doing single player campaign. It isn't. So, that, that, that's my feel on that. 
And we have video evidence as to why. So anyways, enough of that. Back to praising the game. BFG! 9,000. I do like how The Rock said it in the movie, and I do enjoy the movie. After all, the movie said a inspired by, not an actual. And that is big fucking gun. I think in the movie they called it the Bioforce gun. Forget what it was in here. But BFG? Big effing gun? Yeah. That, yeah. It's a big one. It's a good one. And it feels so much like the original one. It really does. It's awesome. The chainsaw, adding the fuel to it, makes sense for this version of the game. It does. There's uh, creating a uh, a downside to it, and only so many uh, so much you can have it in certain. Well, each uh, fuel charge. Um. What you could say is like doing one tick of a life meter. So if things had more than six, I think the ma that's a maximum number you can get, then uh, you better damage it first before putting a chainsaw to it. Simple. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Just okay. The animations, not even counting glory kills here, okay? The animations, wonderful. The idea of the way that the different types of zombies are shuffling and stuff, fantastic. Really, really freaking good animation in the shuffling. Uh, the pinkies, oh, the pinkies, the way that they could turn in their charge so that you can't just, oh, you're charging, I'm going to do a simple sidestep, and you're going to go right by me. Uh-uh. You're going to get that horned face right to the gut if you do that. Or actually, more like to your face, because the thing's bloody big. But yeah, you get the point. And it just, oh, my God. Just wonderful, wonderful. The the AI I found to be very good, very challenging. Certain things were actually uh, predictable, but that add to the element. You know, when you actually got smart and it's like, oh, I'm uh, just going to go run in a straight line. Well, that's pretty silly. You almost have to weave if you're trying to get away from something. It just, oh. Uh, Again, it's uh, very much the wow. These are long credits. Been going for nearly 10 minutes. But all the different, like, they took the time to actually hire and get out uh, actual actors doing specific languages from the Things are Brazilian actors. And they had Mexico, I think. They had Russia, um, France, uh, Italy. So, yeah, it's, it's all awesome. Special thanks to a very large group of people. Hmm. I'm also seeing if there is, uh, oh, someone passed away. Rest in peace and thank you for your work. I didn't know that. Uh, 
I wasn't paying attention to the music. That's a good, that's a interesting thing. Did they ask for uh, Trent Reznor again? I did not look that up. Trent Reznor did the uh, first uh, the soundtrack to the first Quake game, and as a thank you, they put in a weapon that was um, the nail gun, and the nail gun used nine inch nails. Voice acting, directing, music, uh. Quality assurance testers. QA testing is not a glorious job. It is terrible. Thank you for all your hard work, QA testers. Thank you very much. Mm hmm Additional quality assurance. Hmm. I guess he had two studios doing it? It's a lot of people. Localized versions produced by hmm, Unto the Evil Oh. Back to main menu? What's up? Back to main menu. Okay, well, very long credits, but I think it was well worth it. And if you made it to the end, thank you very much. Okay, well, obviously this series is over. The next series that we're going to do is something that my husband requested, and that will be Soulstorm, the um, Sisters of Battle. And we'll be doing that. I've already recorded some episodes for that. So they'll be going up right after this. Ah, wow. So I do hope you enjoyed this video. And uh, if there is a sequel, I will certainly be playing it. And I'll play for the channel. Um, ouch. Uh, if you're new to the channel, you can subscribe down below for other videos. Now that this series is done... Uh, you can also subscribe to my uh, Twitch TV channel as well as uh, my Twitter. Links down below. But until next we meet, please do be safe, everyone. Bye.